Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kenshi Let's Play. So, here we are in Narco's Trap. Rook is kind of surveying the field here just to see what exactly we're going to have to pull off to make this work. Interestingly, there's a spider out here, and uh, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but we might be able to use that to our advantage. So, ideally what we're going to do here is get the... Holy Nation to fight whatever is guarding the interior of this and while they're doing that somebody will slip inside and loot the place and then we'll move our group uh, maybe like over here or something and hopefully we'll be able to just trade stuff down I don't want to have to move our entire group in there that's gonna be really hard to do unless everybody on both sides dies and I would prefer to not have to uh, get involved in that I don't want to have to kill any Holy Nation troops and piss them off. Uh, I'd rather not have to kill any of the robots, but we can if necessary. But if they see me in here, I'm pretty sure they'll attack on sight. Uh, that is to say, the Holy Nation. I don't think they'll allow me to be in here, even if they don't see me pick the lock to the gate to get in. Uh, I think as soon as I move in here, they'll aggro. So it's very important that they are busy with something else. Meanwhile, the shinobi are running off to... What direction is this? The east, it looks like they're going to cut through Ocran's shield, which is uh, this up here. This has a cool bridge that kind of stretches across the top. Maybe if I can catch it in time, we'll take a peek when we get there. But their goal is to run through the desert to... I think somewhere in here, there's a United Cities city. Uh, I think that one is Stoke. But I don't remember for sure. It's been a long time since I've done anything in uh, United Cities territory. And not in this playthrough, I mean just in general. Playing Kenshi, it's been a while. So, we'll see what comes of that. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff getting done at the base between episodes because I've been focused on this and it honestly hasn't been very long. So let's run over here, for starters. There is acid rain, that's partly why the rest of the group is back. The rest of the group is actually in a different biome, where there's no acid rain. Uh, although Rook appears to be immune. Um, well, not immune, but his clothing appears to be protecting him enough where it's not bothering him. Yeah, he's got 110% per protection. So he's more than safe. Alright, Rook. Your goal is to make the Holy Nation attack that thing without them attacking you as well. What is this now? Uh, home territory aggression. Alright, well... Try to get the spider over here, but then you need to not be... Okay, good. Now they're fighting. Why don't you run around this way? And actually, if you can... Maybe go into sneak. Passive will help as well. I probably should have done passive from the get-go. Uh, passive makes you less likely to be targeted. And obviously it prevents your characters from targeting enemies and aggroing them yourself, so that's helpful too. Uh, they don't seem to really care that there's a fight going down over here. And it looks like the Paladin might be winning. So that's a high Paladin. And yeah, he's taking this robot to task. Well... That didn't go as planned. I was hoping they'd all kind of run over there to help out. Oh man, they're going to make this real difficult, aren't they? Got people on turrets, facing the gate. We're going to have to wait until nighttime. And these guys don't look like they're going anywhere either. Oh boy. Yeah, I think uh, daylight is not going to make this easy for us. So we'll have to probably wait until we have the cover of darkness because I need to get to here and unlock it and then I need to get up here and unlock this which is easier but still I'm curious let's run over here and we'll see what that uh, iron spider has in terms of loot try not to be noticed I don't think they'll see us unless we're like right in front of them though Okay, so what you have. Iron Spider Arm, 
which is worth quite a bit, but again, all this stuff is really heavy, so probably not worth it. The arm joint is worth a lot less. Iron plates. Hmm. I'll take them. Because we are having an iron plate shortage back home. Um, and I'll dump them on one of the animals. Uh, I think both of our bulls are adults now. Yeah, they're both adults, so they can carry quite a lot. Granted, we'll need to increase their strength more. But... Once we do that, they'll be super efficient hauling machines, which, I mean, to a degree they already are, compared to the rest of us anyway. Okay, so our group of shinobi is safely through Skim Sands, which uh, is named for the skimmers that live there, which are these guys here. Luckily, we outrun them pretty easily, so I've just been ignoring them and letting our guys run right past. But you can see we do have some on our tail, although it looks like these nomads are probably going to pull most of them unfortunately for the nomads so uh, we have to run through this sort of uh, rocky canyon here it doesn't really look like a canyon it looks more like mountains anyways we got to go through there and then into the desert proper so they still got a little bit of a run ahead of them and this runs gonna be a whole lot more interesting in the opposite direction when they're carrying stuff I hope that we're not so encumbered that they can't move effectively because obviously that could spell death for them in this desert. Alright, so just coming over the horizon, we can see the city. Uh, and this is Stoke. Okay, perfect. So, we'll head on in there and just kind of check the place out. Oh, what did I do? I did something wrong there. Anyways, we'll head in there and check the place out. We're not going to do anything until nightfall. And, again, I would like to hit an armor shop because I think... That is going to be sort of the best uh, value for you know, the amount of storage that we have. Why are you guys doing this weird? Alright, go to this entrance then. Just get over there somewhere. Because we'll be able to fit a lot more like one-handed swords in our backpacks than, say, uh, pieces of armor. Where, you know, armor we can fit maybe two. We could fit probably 10 to 12 swords. And depending on the quality of the swords, they will probably be equal to... Uh, maybe not equal to a piece of armor in value, but pretty close. This place looks like it's uh, really popping off in terms of market sales and stuff. Um, it looks like they also have... This is where I've been coloring our clothing. These little shops here. Basically, each one of these slaves that's locked up is um, part of like a different faction, sort of. And so you trade their or you trade your gear to the person and then it gets colored by you know that faction's colors and then you take it back so that's how it works um, I'll try to do it on camera at one point just so you guys can see it but uh, every city has a limited selection of them and there are different ones in each city uh, I'm curious what this place is so for example I went to stack to do it and the ones they have in stack are not the same ones they have in squin what is this place? God, those walls are like really ugly. I like the wooden dividers better. Hmm. Oh, do we have a noble out here? Somebody's apologizing for existing, so probably. I do see, yeah. Actually, there might be a couple, because I see a lot of samurai out here. And it looks like we've got slave trades happening. Everybody likes to pick on the Holy Nation as sort of the bad guy in this game, but honestly, I think the United Cities is worse in a lot of ways. There's some stuff about the Holy Nation that's redeemable. Granted, there's a lot that's not, but they at least treat the little people of their own faction well, and they you know go out of their way to protect them. If you're a human Greenlander and you get hurt in their territory, a patrol will come by and actually patch you up and not you know, do anything else. Whereas, um, in this territory, uh, United Cities territory, chances are you're gonna get, uh, healed up with some shackles slapped on you, and then you'll find yourself in one of these cages being sold. So, yeah, um, the Holy Nation at least takes care of their own. Whereas, the United Cities, it just seems like, unless you're a noble, 
so like a very small group of people. And while they don't discriminate in terms of race, you know, there's only like, I think, less than 10 nobles, and everybody else is basically just fodder for them. Let's see, there's like the trader. This, I think, is like crossbows. That looks like slaves, which apparently they have a lot of slave trade happening here. I don't see one that looks like armor. Or not armor, excuse me, weapons. That's the police station. This didn't have any markings on it, and it didn't look like there was anything for sale in there necessarily. What's happening out here? Oh, rebel farmers. Yeah, they don't like the United Cities. And I can't blame them. So that's an inn slash bar trader. This is like plants or something. Construction. I guess let's check out this place. Maybe they'll have melee weapons. If not, then we unfortunately came to the wrong place. But we can still work with that. Oh, I'm on floor one still. Okay. Cal, why don't you... Actually, no. Elena, you had a bunch of random crap in your inventory, right? Yeah, let's unload some of that while we're here. Let's trade. Yes, so just crossbows. Still valuable, of course. Um, but is that what we want to be heisting? I don't know. Could actually use those animal skins. Um, I don't know why she's got all this raw meat, but I honestly could have used it, to be honest. It should have all gone in the animal trough. I don't think I need an extra quiver. I'm just going to sell this. If I need to buy another one later, big deal. So, they have a bunch of the three-shot bolts. So that is one option, stealing crossbows. There is a lot of guards here, though. What else do we have? I didn't see anything that looked like generic weapons. There's at least two just, like, standard traders, though. And then this is armor or clothing. Let's check this place out. If we can get just like a couple of really high value armors, that would work too. But I really wanted swords, like katanas. The amount of katanas we could carry and the amount they would sell for would be incredible. But it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way. Okay, wow, this is honestly not great. <laughs> this is, yeah, all clothing. So... We could probably steal a bunch of these. They don't sell for much, though. Yeah, and the issue is they weigh a lot more than weapons, too. So a chainmail shirt is going to sell for less than a katana. And it's going to weigh a whole hell of a lot more. So I probably won't bother with that idea. Let's see what some of these other places are. Oh, this is just an empty building for sale. God, those rebels probably shouldn't have attacked those guards. They're just getting destroyed. Does this come pre-furnished? That's kind of cool. If it does, it might not. So, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Let's see what this big trade over here has. I wonder if we can buy the other one. Just this outpost. Okay, we want to be on floor zero. And you're the merchant. That is a lot of clutter in the middle there. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pretty standard stuff. Nothing special. I don't know who we want to hit. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. Let's see what's in this building. These are kind of cool. I like the the building variety here, at least. Uh, it's not all the same stuff you see everywhere else. I mean, you do still see these fairly commonly, especially in this area, but... Still pretty cool structures. Um, so this looks like a barracks, maybe? There were some training dummies, and it looks like they do have holding cells. A lot of places to sit. Uh, a lot of beds with samurai sleeping in them, so yeah, it's like a barracks. What's it called? Just another outpost, yeah. 
Um, this isn't marked. Maybe they'll have weapons. Oh, found it. Swords. God, how did I miss that? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't be in there. We're leaving. Sword merchant. Well, or weapon merchant, but it, they have a sword on the sign. Only one guard, as far as I'm seeing, too. So I think this is the place we're going to hit, for sure. Um, a lot of two-handed weapons. The problem is, a lot of these, like this, are too long to put in our backpacks. So we'll pretty much have to exclusively steal one-handed weapons. Well, no, I, I guess not. Just um, nothing that won't fit in the backpack, essentially. So anything that's, like, what, max eight tiles long? Some of these are up to 10. The 10 is definitely too big for the backpack. And honestly, weapon quality here is not great, but you can see, like, just this guardless katana is going to sell for 3,500, and it only weighs a single kilogram. So swords are by far the best thing to steal for something like this. So I guess we'll take this whole group and just have them kind of hang out. We don't want to stay inside the store. Because if we do that, they'll never close shop. They'll basically wait until we leave. Uh, ooh, I completely forgot about something, speaking of closing shop. Scruff, you need to grab the rest of this copper. Oh, apparently there's more copper in there than I thought. Anyway, make one last copper run, and that'll put us pretty close to, if not over, 100k. Which is nice, and obviously this sword heist, if all goes to plan, will net us quite a bit as well. What are you up to? I've heard stories of the weak desert kings. Never before have I witnessed such bulbous, useless looking beings. Who's talking, by the way? Oh, Serena. How I would enjoy feeding them their own coin purses. I'm happy to hear you sounding so excitable for a change. Uh, that was Cow saying that. But maybe keep it down so you don't get us killed by the noble guards. Yeah. For you, kin, I bite my tongue. <laughs> I, I do like having a, a Shek ninja. Um, obviously, it's kind of hard to build her skills because she has um, racial XP penalties in most of the applicable ones. But we'll still make do. And it's just... You know, for fun and having diverse cast of characters and all that. So, let's check back in over here. Rook's still hanging out, unnoticed. Um, has stuff calmed down out here? No, God, there's a lot of them. I'm going to be so bummed if we can't get in there. But at night, as long as he is a good little distance away, they shouldn't notice. So, like, the guy standing here at this gate shouldn't see him picking the lock right here. I know that seems kind of strange because they're looking directly at him, but at that distance they shouldn't notice him. But again, we need a full cover of darkness to do that, but we're getting there. It's almost uh... Wow, does the sun like never go down out here or what? Because it's what, damn near 10 o'clock? 10 p.m.? Weird. Okay, so after selling all of that copper, we are now at 130 5k and that reminds me I've completely neglected something I asked Vulcan I believe oh maybe not I thought I sent somebody oh I did yeah apparently he just decided to not do it or he came back and worked on something else yeah so he's making more armored rags for us I think I've decided all of our town guards are going to be in armored rags and I've made them sort of a crimson color. I'll show you real quick. But anyways, I was going to have Vulcan run some of the extra copper that we're mining here over to the bar to sell. So, yeah. I'm going to start making this sort of the standard town guard uniform. And I'll have to figure out what we're going to wear under it, because obviously these don't protect the stomach very well, or like really at all. And so we'll need to do something about that. Here's a look at the samurai armor that colored, too. You can see that the chest is darkened, but the rest is still the same. Kind of unfortunate. I was hoping we could make the whole thing dark and really stand out, but no such luck. 
So rather than doing a dark color, I might do like a bright color and we'll just have it like painted. Like maybe red with a white. There's sort of like an eagle or something on the chest. It's difficult to see with this paint. But um, if we can find one that's like red background with a white eagle, that might work. But these just aren't good enough for like late game armor. And so for the people guarding the town, they're fine because the raids are never that bad, at least not in this area. But if we're going to be sending like an elite force to deal with some of the end game bosses and stuff, we're going to want like masterwork samurai armor because that's going to give us, you know, full body protection. And we'll probably have like masterwork chainmail under it or something like that. But yeah, um, let's, let's see where Vulcan's at with this queue because I would like somebody to run over there and sell this copper because we don't need the massive amounts that we have. So, yeah, there's all the samurai armor we've made so far. I still need to go color it. Um, that shouldn't be there. Oh, I do have an extra. Well, that's good to know. I guess I'll just make another um, upper one as well. And that'll work out perfectly because I have six helmets. So, Vulcan, I appreciate what you're doing. But if you could stop that, and I'm going to turn his job off. That's the major mistake I made there. I'd like him to come collect the copper from this one. I prefer that the other one over here stay full. Because this is where people are pulling from, or where Baldur's pulling from when he works. I imagine that we're probably full here too. Uh, I can't seem to click on it, but yeah, I think, I think we've got more electrical components than we can store right now. But that's good. That means we won't want for anything when we go to craft. Although that's not entirely true, because as we well know, um, iron plates are becoming a problem. Although, I did go ahead and get this built out here. I just need to hire some people to work it. Also, uh, it says no power or power inactive, but I think it will have power from like one of these guys here we just again need somebody to actually operate it so what I'll do is after we end this episode um, I will have uh, God I will hire like two or three of these um, starving bandits to go do that job all right so night has fallen and I'm gonna ask somebody as soon as uh, everybody kind of vacates the area to go ahead and pick this lock. Um, Stubbs, get on up here. And he should be able to do it on like one or two tries, but let's make sure there's nobody around first. I just don't want to risk it. Uh, of course, this guy's walking up to us. Right, well, he didn't seem to notice, so Stubbs, go ahead and pick that lock. As long as that eye stays blue, we'll be fine. Okay, so you're in. Go ahead and open it. And then I need all of you to sneak and move in. So the guard's still here. Great. And he has not moved from his spot. Why would you not go to bed? It looks like the merchant themselves has gone to bed. They're still undetected, so let's pull back and maybe he'll walk away at some point. Because it is still pretty early, like the sun just went down. So as long as we're unseen, maybe we'll just play it safe. Because he might decide to leave and go to bed. If not, we have a 50% chance to knock him out, which isn't great, but we can try it. Uh, I'll give that some more time, though. Meanwhile, let's check back in on Rook. Um, God, they're just everywhere. I'm less confident about that. He'll need a couple tries, so even if uh, they aggro on him right away, we could try to just pick the thing and run inside. And again, get the iron spiders or skeletons or whatever else is in there to distract these guys. 
The problem is, if he can't pick that on the first try, he's gonna take a paladin's cross in the back of the head. Oh my god, they've got like a whole army out here. This is ridiculous. I, I knew they had this many people here, but I didn't think they'd all be patrolling this same little spot at the same time. Oh man. Like, how close can you get before they have an idea that you're there? If his stealth was 100, we could literally just run right up there, but unfortunately it's not. Um, come over here. But you can see, like, we're running right in front of these guys and they're not catching it. The issue is there's just too many of them standing here. Let's check back in with the other group. and Maybe the guard has moved. Oh, they closed the door. Okay. Interesting. Oh, the guards did. Well then. Um, we'll just hang out for now. But look, they're undetected right now. Like, nobody sees them. The only issue is, like, getting past the guard inside. Why is there just, like, so many people on patrol right now? I have no idea. I should check in on Scruff. Did you leave the store, or did I just forget you in there? Yeah, see, he's still hanging out here. Um, did you ever sell that stuff? You did. Why don't you go ahead and leave? And he'll close up shop. So, yeah, see, so I was trying to trick him into leaving. Okay, well, you're still undetected. Oh, I thought you were, like, up against the wall here. My bad. Luckily, they didn't notice you, because they will attack on sight. We're not supposed to be here, period. Um, get a little bit further away. Some of those guys are heading toward you. Has this cleared up a little bit? I'm going to let Stubbs pick the lock again. We'll see if that guard has moved. First try, please. Nice. Okay, open the door. And just peek inside. So the guard finally left. So let's take everybody. Get inside. And then we need to close the door behind us and, if we can, lock it. Because the, otherwise the town guards will come and investigate the door being open. So close the door. Close the door, please. Thank you. And we can't lock it because it's not ours, right? That makes sense. So I'd prefer not to have to knock anybody out. Our success chances for doing so are not great. And so it's probably best that we just avoid it entirely what I'd like to do instead is just you know fill up our uh, I'm gonna avoid stuff like that we want to get like the best weight to value ratio these are too long to put in a backpack that guardless katana is probably worth taking I should have looked at the stealing percentage before I did that but I imagine it's good enough. They're not really in the area. We're pretty much undetectable unless we do something stupid. What do we have here? Just a large basket. Uh, hold saber. Not really worth it. It might be. I don't know. Uh, oh, wow. That one's... Let's see. Stubbs, I think you're the best... Oops. That's your inventory. I think he's the best lock picker we have, so I'm going to ask him to go ahead and do that one. 21%. That's a little bit better. There's still some stuff over here, so let's check these out. Nothing doing there. What do we have here? Blueprints are definitely worth grabbing. They obviously are uh, very small. They don't weigh anything. I'm going to leave them a gift. I don't want this iron club. And if you don't need the research, you can go ahead and sell it. So let's grab that. 83% is pretty good, so I think we'll be all right. Yeah, we are, are apparently fine. Uh, foreign Saber. 
I mean, honestly, they don't have a whole lot of good stuff here. I'm a bit disappointed, actually. No one's come in yet, right? Okay. Let's get you guys, like, out of line of sight, just in case they do. More blueprints. Long cleavers, we know that one, but again, we can sell it. Wakazashis, we don't know. Combat cleavers, we know. I'll take the guardless katana. Ninja blades. Alright. And then for the stuff that we don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and just learn it now. That way, if anything happens, these guys get busted and, you know, everything gets taken from them. At least we'll have learned the research. So, long cleavers we already know. We'll sell that one. Wakazashis, I'd like to know that one, so let's learn it. Combat cleavers we already know, so we'll sell that. Ninja blades we don't. Hold sabers. Do I even care about them? Honestly, not really. They're not all that different from, like, horse choppers, so I'm not going to bother what's here. Steel bars, but they don't have any in in that spot. I think this safe is going to have probably the most stuff. Cleavers. 111% uh, chance to steal. So yeah, we're pretty safe there. Uh, there's a wrench. What's your chance to get in there? Zero. I really hope somebody's capable of getting in there. I think Serena is the next best at 43. Oh no. Um, I hope there's some tools here somewhere. Let's see. Well, I'll take this stuff. Oh no, who caught us? Crap. Uh, Stubbs? I need you to do the old stealth KO. Perfect. Okay. Back to stealing. Alarm raised by who? You were just knocked out. That's so ridiculous. Uh, okay. Let's try it again. I don't think anybody's coming, but I could be wrong. I don't understand why we keep getting caught. Stealing chance 57%. I should have probably just had somebody else do it. What is your stealing... Oh, your skiver... Oh, God damn it. Thievery skill's only four, that's why. Everybody else is far, far better. Okay, here we go. 152. Yeah, should have done that from the start. Those won't fit in backpacks, so we'll ignore that. Um, somebody upstairs. I assume the guard heard something. But they're not doing anything about it. I don't want to go up there and knock them out, but we'll see. Uh, go ahead and loot this person. Ooh, a topper. I really want the blueprint for a topper. I've yet to be able to find one, though. Because I'd like to make that sort of our standard guard weapon. Put that down and get out of here. We didn't do anything. How are you talking when you're, like, double unconscious? I don't know. This is being weird. All right, get back to picking that lock, please. Do you have a bounty now? No. As long as nobody notices her for 20 seconds, though, I think we're fine. Uh, but we need tools. This blows. I should have brought tools. I kept some for this very reason. And yet, I didn't bother to bring... Any. I should have. Obviously. Because then we'd be able to just bust this open with a bit of patience. Did we look at this? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, is there anything else in here? Oh, there's tools. Perfect. Uh, I'll let Serena do that. No, no, no. You don't steal stuff. Right, because somebody will hear you. Cow, I know you have better than, like, or at least 40. So you can grab those. And then you are going to use the tools to get in here. God, we've gotten so lucky. Both times I've forgotten tools the game has provided me with some. Okay, here we go. That's worth money. That's worth money. Foreign Saber. I'm trying to stick to stuff that only takes, or it's only a single tile tall, because, like, for example, these are worth the same amount, but this takes up 
less than half the storage space in our backpack. These are too long to carry. Um, if we move one of these in here, we can get one more bigger weapon in the backpack. And I should check too, because some of these are not going to affect our encumbrance. So they should really be in the inventory, and then we'll put the heavier stuff in the backpacks. Like all that stuff is fairly heavy. Okay, ring sabers. Those actually are worth quite a bit. These are lighter, though, and worth almost the same. Uh, and that's pretty much all you can get. Unless... Ah, yeah. So, we'll throw... Ninja Blade here. That will allow you... Actually, if we do that with both... Or put that in your Weapon 2 slot. If we do that with both, then we can take... Some of these larger weapons. I'll probably do the Nodachis. And just grab everything for now. We'll distribute later. What's this worth? Well, here. Put it out there, and that'll let us fit one more thing. Which will be... That uh, doesn't matter. Toss up. Okay, so you're cutting... Did you ever get in here? You must have, because you're not picking locks anymore. Ooh. Alright, we'll do the same with his gear. So we've got two... Pretty decent quality Nodachis. Um, oh, those fit in the bigger backpack. Oh, I wish I'd known that. Well, I guess it's still fine. But yeah, we can grab all sorts of stuff then, if that's the case. So yeah, you come back over here and we'll reevaluate this situation here. Actually, you know what, Elena, you can pick locks. You're not as good as Stubbs, but you can get in there, so Stubbs can focus on other stuff. Okay, so the, uh, the trader just came out of nowhere, and... I've stealth KO'd him again. He's not going down for some reason. There we go. Hopefully nobody heard that. Let's loot him again. And what I should have done is pick him up. Because then he won't be able to do anything. So, at least I've done it now. And twice, twice now, we've nearly gotten caught because of my stupidity, but managed to pull through somehow. So, Elena's picking this lock. Cow's cutting that one. Let's check in on Rook. Nobody's aggroed on him yet, so that's a good sign. Uh, that thing's up and about. Nobody cares. There we go. Right. I don't see a way that we sneak past them, though. Maybe if they all aggro, I can get behind them. I'm gonna... Oh, it didn't last long enough. Damn it. <laughs> Ah, damn. Well, some people are going inside. Maybe to rest, I don't know. Okay, so Rook managed to get to the gate, if only just. Pick the lock, please, and do not get noticed. Okay, he's in. Alright, go, go, go. Oh, you gotta open it, right. You're not gonna open it? There we go. Okay, run in. As soon as you can, run in. Whew, okay, we're through. Now we gotta see what's actually in this place, because there should be, you know, some sort of robot things guarding it. Uh, you can't get over here? Like, what's the deal? Shinobi, how are we doing? It's very tense right now. Probably should have spaced these out so they weren't both happening on the same night. Okay, Elena looks to have gotten in. There's quite a bit of stuff here as well. Uh, again, blueprints I'll take regardless of what they are, because they're... Weightless. Sure, whatever. Now then. You have a small backpack, so probably not worth putting a whole lot in there. But let's try to at least make some space so that she can. And can I fit a few of these in here too? Two and just drop. Or here, we'll leave them a bit of meat. Okay. So we'll take the katana, and we'll take the... Actually, no, don't do that. If anything, put that in your inventory. This falling sun is worth a decent little bit. 
So put that. Oh, right, it won't fit. Um, four and saber is probably worth the most then. And then we'll take anything that'll fit in her inventory. That's fairly light, that is. Okay, that's looking pretty good. She's still not overweight. Serena, you still have space. Yeah, you have a lot of space, actually. Uh, I'll let her loot the vault, I think, because... Or, excuse me, the... The, um... Yeah, vault, whatever. Just because, you know, that'll fit pole arms and stuff. Whereas... Uh, what do we have in here again? Was there anything? Uh, we'll see. Because a lot of this stuff is lower quality, and I don't know that it's worth trying to carry it back. Okay, so I should probably check in on Rook again. And again, he needs to get up here. He's going to have to pick this. Where is it? There it is. Go ahead and pick that lock. No, just going to stand there. Why is he not moving? Oh, because the game was paused, of course. Uh, yeah, so there's probably iron spiders in here. The trick is going to be getting them to follow us all the way down there so that the Holy Nation will deal with them for us. Okay, you're in. Open, please. And let's see what's inside. Okay, there's at least one in there. These are security spiders, so I don't think they're as strong as iron spiders. Let's actually see. 120 versus... where's this base? Ah, here we go. Because this was an iron spider. Oh, it's back up. Uh, this definitely has more health. But that doesn't necessarily mean it attacks as hard. But I'm not exactly keen on Rook fighting this thing solo. Okay, well, I'll take that gladly. Armor plating is tempting as well. But it is quite heavy, so I might have to leave it. Nothing in there. Uh, I should have checked this. Ran right by it. Uh, map of the Ashlands, yeah. Those can be useful, and in fact... Uh, as soon as I close this, we can just burn it right now to learn whatever location it is. Ashland's Dome 3. Okay. We'll check that out later. As long as, you know, we have it added to our map. It's no rush actually looking at it. Rook, I need you... Rook, I need you investigating, please. Nothing. And nothing. All right. Well, these are med med crates, so I'm not that disappointed there was nothing there. Because, frankly, I don't need that stuff anyway. Motors are tempting, because motors can be useful. Our ultimate goal is... It's actually laid out a little bit differently than what I'm used to. Power cores, CPU units, a lot of power cores... There's supposed to be AI cores here. At least there were there was last time I played the game. So let's see what we can do. I might be able to just get him to sneak past these things. If you can sit right there. Oh, power core. Sure, why not? Go ahead and pick that and try not to be noticed. If you're noticed, then we gotta run like hell. didn't even see him. Perfect. Okay, so we might not need to lure these things out. We might have him just grab everything he can carry and then we'll trade it down to I should probably get Cat in the location just so that she can again pass things over. Uh, Cow, I really need you to cut in there, man. It's getting close to daylight and we do not want to be here when everybody else wakes up. Alright, Rook is in. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, some engineering research. Why not? And then we'll take a look in here. Another book. Perfect. Uh, I'll take the tools just in case, but I might not bring them back with me. Okay, I'll grab that as well. I didn't see where the other skeleton went. One went downstairs, and I believe the other went upstairs. Okay, we got that CPU unit. Let's check this out. Another book. Great. Books are always welcome. Those aren't storage. These are batteries. I don't know what that is. None of this looks to be storage, though. These are just, like, um, 
Skeleton shredders, interesting. Oh, those are workbenches, so not what we're looking for. Oh, there he is. Hello. Did we get this? Uh, I don't know. No, probably not. Are you going upstairs? Can't really tell. Yeah, there you are. So I've asked Cat and... I thought I asked the whole group, but apparently I didn't. That's fine. I've asked Cat to run over here, and she's going to set up right at the base of this ramp. So worst comes to worst, if I can't trade stuff straight down, uh, we'll just move Rook to the bottom of the ramp and have him trade it across the fence. And... How are we doing here? 480. Come on, guys, it's 4 o'clock. we got to get in there. Cutting this way too close. I am curious, uh, like, Dow. What is your chance to knock these guys out? 67. That's not nearly as good. Stubbs, you had 100 on the merchant. 65, 65. But is that because you're carrying somebody? Go ahead and put the trader down. I'll let Serena carry the trader. Uh, what? You should be unconscious. Why are you not unconscious? Okay, Elena, stealth KO, please. There we go, Jesus. This game sometimes. Okay, kidnap. Stubbs, come up here, and Dow, please don't do what you're about to do. I did not intend for you to actually go up there. Uh, while you're up there, though... What's in here? We probably won't be able to steal from these because it's way too close to the people sleeping. Yeah, it's less than 100, which I don't feel great about. Oh, we do have blueprints, though. Pole arms, we already know that one. Long swords, we don't. I don't care about those enough to, you know, chance getting caught. Let's check this out, though. There might be some stuff in there. Nothing. Okay. Uh, why don't you get back downstairs? just in case, and then we'll check back in on Rook. Where'd the spider go? Uh, either way, we're going upstairs. I believe there's two of them up here, so this will need to be very, very delicate work. Yeah, one's sitting right there. Um, come check this out first, because if they decide to use the ramp, we want to be pretty far away from it, so nothing there. What's on this stuff? Power cores, skeleton muscles, CPU units. We already sort of looked at this stuff. And there is a lot here that we want to potentially take. I'm going to be real disappointed if we don't find any AI cores. Okay, what do we got? Book, research. Uh, I'll take steel bars, I guess. I'm not too worried about encumbrance or anything, because as soon as we get the stuff onto the bulls, it's not really going to matter. Okay, what was in that? I'll take those. Now then. Uh, sure, more tools. Why aren't they stacking? Oh, because this is a thieves backpack, of course. It all makes sense. Uh, yeah, move those into here. Although I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, I need you to get over here. Okay. 6%. We might be here a while. Time is less important for him because day or night the robots don't really care. However, this shop is going to open in about an hour. Well, no. It's closer to two hours. So we kind of don't want to be here when that happens. And that's not to say that the guards won't wake up earlier than that. But we're cutting as fast as we can. Oh, God. Um, Cat is a slightly better lock picker, but getting her through is going to be problematic, to say the least. We can try. She's almost as good at stealthing as he is. Okay, that one's going downstairs. Do we look at these, by the way? 
Uh, probably no point. So continue to pick. Cat's on her way, so I'll have to take somebody like Skinner. You know what, I'm curious. The animals, are they taking acid rain damage? I don't think so, so will mine not take acid rain damage? Because I'd like to just move the whole group up there. Uh, if we put them back here, the Holy Nation should have no idea that we're even there. And we'll just move up to right back here. But I, I do worry that we're going to take acid damage, so I kind of want to avoid that. Okay, Cat, your goal is to get through. Please do not get detected. Um, that's cutting it awfully close. Just go, go, go. Yeah, okay, good. Our stealth skills prevail there. Whew. Very nerve-wracking. All right, I'm going to send her upstairs. Rook. Is there any spiders near you? There's only two in here, so it's not that hard to evade them. I'm just very concerned that one of them's going to wander up behind him. I feel like I did walk by these. Maybe I just didn't notice them. Um, where's my cursor? There it is. Come on. Okay. Uh, motors. I don't know. We'll grab it, but... Just... Not sure I want to bother. Your skill is not really improving on this. You'd think he'd be leveling quite quickly, given how difficult this thing is, but... Yeah. Um, she will have a much better chance. Her lockpicking is like 50. Yeah, so... Should go much smoother once she gets up there. Uh, 5.30. God, we're cutting it close. We might have to just abandon this. Because we're only at 180, and we've got less than probably an hour. This guard's also got a disappear as well. If he's going to sit right outside, if we get caught leaving this place, we'll be in trouble. And then we got to find it, or figure out a trick to get through the gate. Because, of course, uh, if we get bag checked with all these stolen goods, we might be in real trouble. Or we will be in real trouble. So, yeah. I think we're going to have to... God, I don't want to. Oh, we're so close. I just don't think we have the time. As soon as those guards wake up, we are done for. We could try to knock them out, but if we fail, then it's pretty much game over. <sighs> Let's see. So, 70%, but you're the one cutting, and if I take you off of that, I think it resets. 67. I think 68 has been our best so far. Helena, dare we risk it? Go for the stealth KO there. I'm almost wondering if a kidnap is better in this case. Like, if we just pick them up, is that a problem? 75. Somebody should come up with you. Um... Dow, you're just standing there. So you come back up. We're going to let her do the KOing. But Dow will pick the person up. Just so they don't create problems. So go for the stealth KO. Thunk. Perfect. Okay, Dow, you need to run up here and kidnap. And then you need to stealth KO this person. Thump. Perfect. Okay. Then go for the kidnap. Oh, are you kidding? We knocked you out. God, this game sometimes. Like, <laughs> okay. I don't think we've been noticed. Now, we can loot the weapons off these people. Is it worth doing? Probably not, but here's what I will do. Like, this is less valuable, right? Yeah. So, throw it on the ground. Just so if they do wake up, they won't have a weapon to attack us with. Alright, well that buys us a little bit more time. Because now everybody in the shop is incapacitated to the point where they can't really interrupt us. So as long as the guards don't come in to investigate, we'll be fine. I'm having a hell of a time getting Cat upstairs because these spiders have all managed to make their way down to the bottom floor. So... 
I was hoping I could let this one go by, but it looks like this one's going to go in basically the same direction. They both stay downstairs, then we'll be okay. No, he's going up. Ah, God damn it. And Rook, I take it you're still not in? Nope. Okay. We are through the safe. What do we have? Desert savers, sure. Foreign savers, why not? Yeah, grab it all. Okay. Now then. Let's throw this in your backpack. And I guess that. Serena, you are going to need to get selected. And then you're going to have to take everything that's larger. Okay. She is encumbered, but I think part of that is the person that she's carrying. So we need to take Elena and Dow and get downstairs. We're basically going to dump the bodies, jump outside, hope that nobody notices us, and close the door behind us, and then make a break for the town gate, where I have a little bit of a plan as to where we go from there. Uh, please don't come this way. Damn it. Keep going. Oh, crap. Um, let me wait a bit and see if they move. Okay, I think we're good. So, everybody who's carrying someone needs to put that person down. They should be unconscious for, I think it's like 15 to 20 seconds following that. And then everybody needs to move here. They'll crumple to the floor in a moment. Uh, oh, wow. It's actually more than that. Probably because we did the, the stealth knockout. Okay, so everybody open this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Oh, God. There's a guard right there. Um, close. We're still undetected. And now that we're out, we should be able to just stand up and walk off like nothing happened. The trick here is going to be getting through the gate. So which way do we want to go? Also, let's make sure nobody's encumbered right now. So you're moving at 21. 20. 16. 21. 22. So down needs to lose a bit of weight. Uh, let's see. Who can he pawn some stuff off to? Probably to Serena. So Dow, trade with her. Uh, these should be, yeah, enough right there. Perfect. Hopefully she's still underweight. Uh, looks like it. Okay, cool. Now for my master plan. Okay, so you guys are all going to walk to about here. We're going to send one person through with no backpack and then trade the backpacks across the wall. So, watch this. Um, let's see. Stubbs, ditch your backpack there. Uh, actually, hold on. You're going to need to trade with Serena. And, sure, whatever. Okay. Stubbs, put your backpack down. Why am I trying to right-click to do that? Uh, this is not stolen, correct? Perfect. Okay. So he can walk through, and if they want to bag check him, it's fine. He's got nothing. I don't even know if they will check us, to be honest, but if they do and they catch us with all that crap, we're obviously screwed. So I'm not taking any chances here. So he's going to come stand next to the wall. And then Cow is going to walk to the other side of it and pass his backpack across. Bingo. All right. Now Cow is clean, he's got no stolen goods, he can walk through. And Stubbs is going to eat his Gohan. Okay, so Cow is ready for the handoff. I guess if we wanted to roleplay this properly, uh, we'd go stand up on here and like pretend like we're dropping the backpacks off. But it's just more work for me and it's technically the same thing. But yeah, if you, if you really want to roleplay it, you know, they're dropping the backpacks over so that nobody sees what's actually in them. 
Okay, Dao. Yours is going to be a little bit harder because you have a bunch of stolen stuff in your inventory too. So we might have you go last. Serena can trade hers no problem though. So we'll pass hers to Cal. And these are not stolen. Oh, that one is stolen. Okay, pass that to Cal. Good. So she's clean. Move her across. I should probably check back in on Cat and the rest of our group just to make sure. I know none of them are being attacked, but obviously I don't want to just be sitting here forever either. So you guys are fine right there. Good. I think that's pretty much as... Well, actually, that's probably closer right there. Let's get you guys sitting on this. The rest of the group, the ones with the crossbows, are all right here because they don't have any acid rain protection, or at least not enough. So rather than just have them sit there taking damage, I decided to move them. I'll have to pay very close attention to Cat, but for now, let's um, try to finish this. Okay, so Serena needs to pass through, and then we'll send her a backpack. Cool. Elena, how's your inventory look? Oh, you have so much crap on you. Right, this is going to be hard. I could just run for it, because I don't think they'll catch her in samurai armor. So if they wanted to try, we could probably just beat them on foot. We do need to send at least one backpack through, though. So here, I'll take yours and send it to Serena. And if I wanted to move a bunch of stuff around, I could. To make this continue to work, so there's no chance, but I'm just going to run for it at this point. We've got enough of it through, and everybody's fast enough where I don't think it'll matter. Okay, go. No bag checks, no bag checks, no bag checks. Oh, we got lucky, okay. So that worked. Um, you guys are still moving pretty fast. I think we're going to send them... Not home. They don't need to go home necessarily, but... Maybe to... Blister Hill. Let's not try to sell this stuff in... United Cities territory. That seems ill-advised. So we'll get them to Blister Hill and let them sell it there. We'll have Serena hang out outside or something. Although she should be able to go in, we just have to be able to, you know, explain away why she's there. They won't attack her on site, necessarily. Okay, cat, up you go. And if you go this way, you should be able to sneak right by and get up to this floor where you can help Rook. Oh, did Rook finally get in that? He did. Oh, that's the mother load. Two AI cores. Wow. Okay. I'm glad we came here. He's got to get closer, though. Oh my god, there's a spider right on top of you. Uh, it's facing the other way, but Jesus. Um, Cat, you are going to need to do some pretty tricky maneuvers here. Okay, apparently this thing's just, like, out of it. Uh, don't... Oh my god, you ran through him and you didn't notice. I was trying to send her around this way, and obviously that didn't work. But she didn't get noticed. Oh, did you seriously pick the hardest one? Apparently that was the only one that was super difficult. Anyways, all the books, all the AI cores, um, tools. I think we have enough at home, so let's not bother with those. We'll take skeleton muscles. Oh god, I'm going to need to... Let's see. I think they're too far to trade. Rook, if you move, I might... No, 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 don't do that. Just stay where you are. Start picking this. Okay, we should be in on both. Perfect. Right, Rook, come over here now that the spider's gone. I'm going to see if that's close enough that we can start trading stuff down. Otherwise, we're going to have to figure out something, because they're going to have to try to sneak past the spiders and make several runs. Um, so let's see. Can you move that to, say, Ferdinand? No. That's unfortunate. Um. God, if we had, like, a middleman, can we get... I don't think we can get Ruka inside. Her stealth is not good enough? No. Drone? Maybe. 
if I could just have one person that's like sitting out here, we could trade it to them and have them trade it down. But I don't trust our ability to get somebody through there. I guess Roan's not, or Drone's not that much worse than Rook. Oh yeah, no, he's quite a bit worse. 15 points. I'm not going to chance it. Um, I guess let's just grab as much as we can and then we'll figure it out. Okay, um, I think this is the last of the safes. So there's another book, some more tools, which we don't need. Um, so let's see. I think this is really the one that we need to clean out. Everything else, I believe, was pretty much empty. Or if not, we emptied it out. There's a motor. As much as I'd like to take the motor, it's not a priority. Steel bars, uh, don't need them. And tools, right, so this one. Definitely going to want the power core, because we need those for building batteries. And while we can manufacture them, it's not easy. A whole lot of skeleton repair kits. Yeah, if we just had somebody with a proper backpack up here. Um, Rook, how fast are you right now? Let's see, trade some more stuff over to her. Okay, um, and that steel doesn't need to come with us. I thought about it, but it's it's not necessary, so we'll leave that behind. You should be, like, lightning at this point. So can we lure the skeletons away? Or at least get to somewhere... Like, I don't know where she needs to be to trade. We might need to go all the way outside, and that's obviously going to be difficult. And then, of course, we need to come back in afterward. Before I do anything, though, did I look at these? Because these are kind of hidden in the back. Um, there's a nice med kit there. I guess we'll take it, but I don't necessarily need it. And another book, so I'm glad I checked those. These are all going to be medical supplies, but I don't want to risk missing out on a book. Okay, so Rook, um, just go for it. Apparently you can bump into them and they don't notice or care. Yeah, they they don't care. So apparently it's not going to be that hard to get through. I was being a little bit um, over over cautious, I suppose. Uh, these look to be all empty. Oh, there was something in that one. Oh, just a splint kit. Can't say I really care. Right. Rook, if you can get out to... Where are these guys? There? Well, I guess if you're that far, just go down the ramp a bit. Cat. You're coming around this side. Anything? Anything at all? Another med kit, sure, why not? Right, so these shelves, they had a bunch of stuff. We want CPU units, skeleton muscles, um, capacitors, I don't remember capacitors. Grab one, so I can see it in your inventory. Capacitor, uh, no, they're not very valuable. We will need those, I think, for crafting, but it's not that big a deal. We should be able to make those. Power core. Spring steel is for making crossbows. So we should try to grab that if we can. But we don't necessarily need to. Again, that's something that you can make. It's just a little bit more work. Alright, Rook. Let's have you trade your stuff on over to... I'm just going to give this to Ruka because they're just books. Really? You're right there. That's got to be close enough. Unless there's like some magic barrier from the fence. Okay, so it's going to make this really difficult apparently. Ruka, how close can you get to this fence? Okay, so I've traded significantly longer distances than this before. Still out of trading range. So yeah, it's something with the fence. Um, that will be an issue. That will definitely be an issue. So what else can I do then? 
You aren't going to be able to stealth in there. There's just no way. Um, Skinner's too far. I need his backpack, though, possibly. Ah, uh, damn it. If I just had one person in there with, like, a proper backpack, like a trader's backpack, we'd be alright. Uh, let's see. I mean, if we have to, we'll ditch these. I'd like to get as many power cores as possible, though, and skeleton muscles are nice, too. CPU units are also great. Um, and then I forget what else was in this. Intruders, where? I hope they're not shouting at us. Uh, there's just so much in there I want. And we could get most of it if we could just get somebody in there with a backpack. Are you taking damage? Oh, just a tiny bit. Uh, that'll toughen you up, so no worries. Well, I've been recording for a pretty damn long time, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and I'm going to figure out a solution to this problem uh, between episodes, and I guess I'll let you know how it went when we come back or you know depending on how action-packed it is uh, we might get to see it but otherwise you know I probably will just go ahead and grind out whatever I have to do so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode